if it works out this time. Yeah. And, you know, like, there's always the off chance. I mean, there was a lot of whiffed grounded moves. But maybe he was trying to, like, jump immediate down there or something and he got down smash instead. Like, yeah. I don't know. Like It's possible. Oof. Oh, man. And already almost an immediate wobble there. Vis able to mash out in time. And Pink Luigi. Yeah, he's coming coming with a different color this time. Oh, man. And another great wobble from Vis. Able to get out of two potential or another great mash out. I mean, you kind of wobble in the stick back and forth, so it kind of makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Oh, man. Getting beat up from both sides. Yeah. That's not fair. <laughs> oh, man. That almost killed already. And, and nope. Wow. Better DI from Vist this time. Living. But that'll do it. The back air. Vist, I mean, it's, again, there's a very reasonable chance that fatigue is a factor for Vist at this point. Um, played multiple long sets today, including just coming off a five-game set that he had to really work for against Frostbite. He dug deep for that one. Yeah, yeah. definitely. So it could be that Vis is just running out of steam a bit here, but it's still only the first stock. Yeah, we saw him at least from the corner against Sopo. If nothing else, try that same dare that he was doing. Mm -hmm. We're going to see how it pans out. There's another one. Yeah. He is just... Uh, I mean, we, we called out in the very first set how Dare was kind of one of his go-to moves. He's using it in a slightly different way than he was then, mm -hmm. but it's proving like just as effective. Right. Maybe oh, more so. Oh, wow. And great recognition from Cool Lime. This guy's always ready to grab. Yeah, for sure. You have one move, grab. You blink, grab. It's Absolutely. always a grab. And Cool Lime... Off to a pretty solid lead here in game one, and wow, so much damage so quickly there. I guess cool Vi Vis just wanted to get down so bad, and we've been saying how, like, we've been seeing the whole day, when Vis wants to get down, he kind of takes, like, a a circuitous route around the stage to get there. Mm -hmm. uh, Lime just cuts him off with up airs, like, three or four times in a row, and it's enough to do a bunch of damage till he gets the stock. Right, right. And, you know, Yoshi's has been a good stage for Vist in this matchup. Yeah, in general, for sure. But it's not looking great right now, to be honest. Nope. And this is definitely a little more dominant than we saw any of the winner's finals games um, between Cool Lime and Vist. So not necessarily a great note to start the set on for Vist. But if you can make this comeback, that would be a good way to reverse that. Fireball from the ledge. <laughs> The booger. <laughs> the booger. <laughs> hey, just playing like with that. the ledge a little, yeah. Okay, yeah. let's see what he's able to do. A little bit of separation. Not able to get too much off it. Oh, wow. Just wave land. And not quite going to do it. Oh, Ooh, that's a pretty good misfire for him, yeah. actually. Third one today. Worked out nicely. Something else worked out. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay. If he gets his kill on Nana, oh, doesn't look like it. There goes a couple more dares. That time he's a little too far away to take advantage. Mm -hmm. Oof. Mm. Wow, better. reverse back air actually from Cool Lime. Gonna take game one. Again, this is looking a little more one sided than Winner's Finals was for sure yeah. thus far. So we'll see if Vist can make some adjustments. Sometimes, you know how they say, like, well, you were just playing a nice climbers and then you get up to another one, or you're playing some matchup and then you play another one, so you're warm for the matchup, like you're used to how you're supposed to play it, and you're going right. to be that much better. Sometimes the two of the same character are so different, it's almost jarring. Yeah, the styles are so distinct that it almost, it's, it's like actually worse. Yeah. Because yeah. Um, you're doing all the same stuff, and it's just, everything's totally different. Right. None of the stuff that was working a second ago is working anymore. So and that's that's definitely a rough situation. And I mean, you know it's a new set and you're playing a different player, but something like... In this game, if you're playing at like a decently high level, you don't have time to like think it all out. You right, have to right. just like let go and then let your instinct take over, kind of. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you do that, it's really hard to adjust from one player to another if they play the same character. Yeah. Okay. And... Gets the kill on Nana. Let's see if Cool Lime can get any extra credit here with Sopo. But again, Vis so good at edge guarding Sopo. 
unlikely that he'll be able to make it back. Uh-oh, though, Vist wanted to land on the cloud. Luigi is so screwed if he goes for the cloud and doesn't land on it because his up ain't going nowhere. No, definitely not. I wonder if his air dodge could have got him there. It would be tight. Probably not. I, I don't mean, know. I mean, he might as well have gone for air dodge because up B had zero chance, so. Yeah, he had to go forward a little bit, right? Yeah. Not able to put the hurt on Nana too much. I guess he is eventually. I'll take yep. it back. She's, she's got a pretty decent bit of damage on her so far. Oh, that's actually a pretty quick mash from Cool Line. Yeah. Usually it's the non icy who has to mash fast. <laughs> more dares. They're just coming uh, more and more of them. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely just cutting off the wave dash approach. Right. Forwards or backwards. Lots of dares. Doing uh, very well for Vist. Mm. The problem is, it feels like when he doesn't dare, the punish is much worse. Yeah. Like whenever they, whenever Kulan does find his way, it's it's always bad. Mm -hmm. As opposed to getting like one dare in some stage position. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice hey. recovery from Kulan. And he might actually be able to take this stock first, even with Sopo. I like the up air idea. Moves over so quickly that he's able to grab the edge too. Kulan mm -hmm. tries to catch Vis slipping with that forward smash on the cloud, but Vis not having any of that. Viz trying to even up this set and give himself a fighting chance here. Again, still needs to win another set if he did win this one. So going down 0-2 in the first set is not where you want to be when you're in the loser side. Okay, and he's doing a great job of it right now. I like the up air. It's probably the only thing that's going to work and send him back off stage a little bit. Mm -hmm. Pretty neat. And that Nair takes it. So Vist with a big turnaround here in game two. He has been flawless with judging the percents on neutral air and getting the KO. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize he was facing backwards. I don't know if he did either. <laughs> um, good edge guard from Cool Line, though. <laughs> He's Whoa. pummeling them both, basically. <laughs> oh, yeah. and Nana goes down, so. Sopo time for Cool Line. Gonna be tough. Oh, nice Nair trade from Vist. Definitely worth it. Pair of back airs, Oof. none of them hitting. Down air, and that'll do it. So really nice comeback from Vist. Again, he basically would have been dead in the water if he hadn't made that comeback, but yeah. now he's got a fighting chance here. One to one. He did stick to his guns, going back to Yoshi's story once again, a stage that he's uh, done quite well on throughout the day. So right. it makes sense to go back again. Mm -hmm. And again, we're seeing Cool Lime opt for Stadium as his first counter pick in order to potentially save FD, in theory, at least. I mean, maybe he just really likes Stadium. Yeah. But he's potentially saving that FD counter pick for later in the set since this is a best of five. Playing the long game. I don't know, man. I always feel like, what if you do happen to lose on your strong counter pick? Then you get to go to it twice. It just feels like, to me, it just feels kind of better. I don't know. Yeah. I, I kind of agree with you. I, can, I, I get the reasoning, sort of. It like makes sense until I start thinking about it a little. Yeah, I think it kind of depends on where in the set it is, too. So if you won game one and then they win game two and you're counterpicking then, then it kind of makes more sense as opposed to if you lost game one, then you're like, you kind of need to get back in the set. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. Why not, I can see that. Why not take out your strong counterpick then? That's true. But... I don't think it necessarily uh, tends to make a huge difference either way. Usually you're going to win on the stages that you would have won on anyway and lost on the stages you would have lost on. So. Yeah, that's true. You're going to have to win on the stage eventually. Right. I've heard that reasoning. Which also, like, percentage-wise still isn't my favorite. But, you know, I'll leave it alone for now. <laughs> I'll leave it alone for now. Yeah. All right. Vist starting off another lead here. Got the edge cancel side B. Cool, I'm ready for it. Ends up getting an up air, and Vist is still being juggled. There's more down air. Oh, ballsy grab from this works out nicely. Yeah, I think he's been putting Cool Lime in shield a lot with the down air uh, when he's that close. So maybe grab's going to start uh, working for him. He yeah. has been grabbing a fair amount, come to think of it. Didn't for realize sure. that they those two things were attached in some way. But I think they are. For sure. A couple down airs. Yeah, and right now between game two and the start to this game, it looks like the momentum is totally back in Viz's favor. Viz looks kind of physically tired, I'm not going to lie. So. Yeah, he actually does. <laughs> like, actually even like a little sweaty. Even maybe. Yeah. So, uh, okay, good set. Um, the, the fact that he has 
at least two more games to win here, and then potentially three more after that. It's got to be a level done thing, but this doesn't seem to be letting it affect him. So you know what um, I found pretty interesting? I was playing against a uh, husband and wife, mm -hmm. and you know, Oof. you know, like you always get like it. super thirsty when you're playing melee, yeah, and stuff, and like you get like headaches from being dehydrated and stuff. Right, right. I tried to figure out why that was. Husband, like, husband's a fitness guy. It's pretty apparent, like at least a little bit. Mm -hmm. So he has one of those like things that can measure his heart rate. Oh, okay. When he's playing melee, it's like always like 20 beats per minute higher than his. Oh yeah, Because yeah. your just your brain's just totally taking up. So yeah. I mean, this is a this is a physically taxing game in a way that's hard to explain if you don't play games. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, your your body temperature definitely goes up when you play melee as well. I've I noticed that. Yeah, I like I can sweat in the winter time outside while playing melee. Yeah, for sure. For sure. And not even, like, I'm not a player that fidgets around a lot or anything. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just pure, like, you need so much focus and energy. You're, like, you're yeah. also, you're, like, not blinking, like, hardly ever. Yeah, yeah. And you need to, you need to have that, that high of a, you need to have that many, like, endorphins, that many uh, neurotransmitters that, like, focus you going on at a time. And it's going to raise your blood pressure, and it's going to, like, really physically tax your body. Yeah. Definitely not as much as like an actual sport or anything, but there's certainly a physical factor to it. It's kind of a different way, yeah. I feel like sometimes the all like the energy going through you has nowhere to go when you're playing melee. Like when right. I'm playing a sport, like at least like blowing off some stress, like running around or something. I don't know. Right, really. right. But yeah, of course it's not as literally it's not as literally physically taxing yeah yeah uh oh okay this manages to mash out but he's got to be careful another one of those could be it and this just standing there <laughs> definitely just standing there <laughs> the tactic we saw from cool lime earlier yeah oh okay easy to Huge execute nair. difficult to master stand oh nice Oh, nice. nice from this. Getting the shore you can. And taking the lead. <laughs> Victory pose is so goofy. In the set. Yes. Two to one. Yeah, nice little roll read. Ends up, uh, you know, he kind of like bet everything on that. Right. Like he could have still won, obviously. But that was a big, big uh, get for him. Yeah, absolutely. And now we're back on stadium, so he must think this is his strongest game. It must be, yeah. That's So that explains it. Who is. Not saving FD, just not using it, period. Who is the best stander in melee history? The best stander? The best at standing. Chew's pretty damn good at standing. Chew's good at it? Chew's a great stander. I was thinking stander. maybe Chew, maybe Cactus. Cactus is a great stander. I don't know who else. <laughs> cool Lime, I guess. Cool Lime, not a bad stander at all. <laughs> Setting the standard for standards. <laughs> I was trying to connect it somehow. You win. <laughs> okay, Icy's all the way against the edge, and that's Ooh, it for Nana. Once yeah. again... This knows exactly when Nair's going to do the trick. Yep, yep. All right. Oh, but some sofa work. Oh, but that misfire right when he needed it. Yeah, number like four or five on him. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Woo! and another one <laughs> at the best possible time for Vist. Yeah, what a shame. It's always funny how that works out. <laughs> they only get them exactly when they need them. So you know he's a Luigi man. True, true. Okay, just lot, basically lots of smash attacks, hoping yeah. that eventually one of them will hit. It worked and out. It did. Especially a low percent, you can kind of do that. Um, you are losing your ability to hold like a very low percent, so that it's an even game or a lead afterwards. But for ice climbers, I think you know they're less likely to Ooh. to do that. It was the chance to get that one hit KO. Right. Just sneaking in a little forward tilt there. <laughs> cool. All right, and back to the action. Let's see if he can finish off Nana, and he does. Okay, now he's got Popo on the ropes. Will he be able to come back? Kind of shame Popo's recovery is even worse without Nana. <laughs> It's kind of be an yeah. inter interesting thing if, like, at least you could get back better or something, but it's just not the truth. <laughs> it's not the way the world is. Oof. And that'll be it for that stock from Cool Lime. This just two stocks away from resetting this bracket. And honestly, his play is continuing to accelerate. Yeah. Like as time goes on, even this being Cool Lime's favorite counter pick, apparently. Right. Uh, just playing better and better the more, the farther they go. He lost the first game, I think it was, right? Yeah. 
him ever since. Yeah, he's definitely been on a tear since then. <laughs> I mean, it looks like the strategy is just like put out as many aerials as possible. Right. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Because he did like. It was like as many aerials as possible for the Ouija, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And that little strength. Like just double arrow, double arrow over and over again. Mm -hmm. But yeah, even, even despite the fatigue that Vist might be feeling from just having played so many sets today. Looks like he's not letting it affect him. Oh, and really? Vist decided to go down there, and that could cost him a lot. Will the mountain go down before he gets to 300%? That's <laughs> the question on everyone's mind. Yeah, because they can't really do a smash attack behind them here. Oh, uh, yeah. And up smash really could probably tech, too. It looks like it's going to be enough. Yeah. yeah. He's if you're not aware of how the precise rule works, you cannot do any infinite, including wobbling, above 300%, or it's considered, a, I, think it's a, I think it's a forfeit of the game, right? Not even the stock. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so that's uh, always an interesting thing that could happen on Pokemon Stadium, in mm -hmm. theory, just like rarely ever does. Oof. And this, there it is. This was a Vist game up until This definitely that was moment. until he decided to go down there. Yeah. And not quite clear why he did. I guess he's just trying to catch him off guard, make something happen, but obviously a decision that backfired I, completely. I think it was a subconscious choice where he's like, I need to get this going because I'm not going to last until game 10. <laughs> and I mean, at this point, we might see 10 games, you know? Yeah. And um, I, it seems like this, like I was saying, he's accelerating, warming up, warming up. But at the same time, he's got to hit his peak and start to teeter off at some point. Right, right. Like, how long can he keep up? Yeah, absolutely. At least you would think so. But either way, yeah, he's got to win this game to force a second set. We are going into game five, back-to-back -back game five sets for Vist. He was able to clutch out the last one. But can he do it again? And then potentially again. <laughs> yeah, cool line. Um, talk a lot about Vist's run through the tournament. Cool line has not been defeated in the set yet. He beat the first seed Jerry, as a matter of fact, yeah, too. That was a game five as well. And previously beat Vist. Yeah, three to one in winners finals. And I forget who he played in the first round of winners. It was uh, I can tell you a second. Bones. It was Bones. Oh, okay. Yeah, so he's had a, a tough bracket and he has not faltered. Yeah. At all. He's looked very strong. Um honestly these past few games against Vist was probably when he's looked the most shaky, but that turned around real quick when Vist went down there on the rock and gave him that yeah. free wobble. I have a feeling after that, you can't help but feel just a little defeated, even if it's just in that moment. Right. And then, you know, the next stock, you are you have a few different sponsors you can take, but I think the most common one is I need to make that up right away. Yeah. I need to get, get myself back in the game. Mm -hmm. Which is dangerous not just to keep the same game plan. Right. Vist starting off very strong in game five. Trying to get this reset. All right, and Cool Lime again, taking his time. Okay. Yeah, okay, so we're poking with up airs. Luigi, of course, has a hard time coming down. Mm -hmm. Don't get too antsy, though, because, I mean, he's got to come down eventually. I guess not if he has the lead. <laughs> yeah. He can stay up there all game. <laughs> Oof. Okay. You've seen a couple texts like that from him. Yeah. Got the green missile percent. Pink missile in this case. The pink missile. <laughs> All right. And the save. But she might go down anyway. And she will. Have you ever thought about what your life would be if you were, like, so strongly associated with a color like some of these characters are? <laughs> like, you feel like you, all your stuff was named after, like, being green or, like, Mario is, like, always wearing red. <laughs> you know, you kind of think of that color scheme. Yeah. It'd be kind of like iconic if you only wore the same type of, like different design or something, but the same color all the time. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's plenty of people who do that, but variety is also the spice of life. That's true. The variety of blue shirts or something. <laughs> all right. Finally. Oh, no, not even. This still living. Yeah, that backer usually will do it. It's pretty strong. Okay. There it is. This one stock lead does not want to drop it because he needs this to bring it to a second set. Mm -hmm. This could be the end of the tournament for him. He still yeah. has first place hopes. Yeah. Still needs to be careful. Still playing Flora's Lava, essentially. 
Yeah, and he's so good at like using the platforms to mix up the timing because Luigi does not have the drift or fast fall to mix up when he's going to come down with an aerial. He needs the platforms to do that. So when Vist has the platforms available to him, he is definitely good at mixing up when he's going to come in. Right, right. The only way he's going to be able to get that type of mix up. Yeah. And that's what makes it even more surprising that uh, Cool Lime did opt for Stadium twice in a row. Yeah. I mean, I guess at the very least, the platforms are far apart, and you can stay in a zone where it's right. not like Luigi can't come all the way towards you, mm -hmm. at least without missing. But yeah, who knows? It'd be interesting to uh, see what Cool Lime has to say about why he likes Stadium so much. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like even if it's like a personal preference thing, but the FD advantage in this particular matchup is so strong that seems to be at least worth a try at least. Yeah. I don't remember if they went there in the winners final set or not. I don't think they did. No, they didn't. They just went to stadium once, right? Yep. So, that being said though, this is almost up two stocks to one now. So, Cool Lime going to have to dig deep here to avoid a reset. It's a pretty fresh two stocks right now. Cool Lime's going to want to chip away a little bit at a time. Yeah. He wants to win this in the first set. And you know he does. You know he yeah, does. Yeah, absolutely. You never want to allow the person coming from losers to reset. Because, I mean, almost every time, pretty much every time, at that point, they have the momentum. So Yeah, they just want to set against you. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. And that nair. But 61, not bad from <laughs> Cool Lime. You take that 61 to go. This is so painstakingly playing. He, like, actually wipes his brow in between stocks. <laughs> oh, man. And damage racking up quickly. Yep, using the platform for a little time to mix up, just like he has been. Like the three jabs. Oof. Nice. And there goes Nana, and effectively ends Cool Lime's hopes of ending the tournament right now. Vist looking poised to force a set two. Yeah, this is just cleanup. I mean, what a journey Vist has been on so far. At this point, um, able to beat Cool Lime once. Nice. So he's one on one with Cool Lime so far today. Yeah, there it is. The reset bracket from Vist. Yeah. Putting Cool Lime effectively in losers as well. And now this three out of five, thankfully, will be the last three out of five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And this one will determine the winner of the tournament, the first Xanadu Championship Series finals. And we do have a reset. Can Cool Lime stabilize? How much does Vist have left in the tank? Yeah, we will see. And I mean, from this, that so far it's looking like he's got plenty still left in the tank, impressively. I feel like at this point, you've been playing uh, for this many years, especially like the same character all this time. Yeah. And he's also that sort of, uh, I mean, this is a positive mental attitude guy, like for right, sure. Right, right, right. Um, yeah, he, th he doesn't seem to, even in that winner's set where he made mistakes that got him wobbled so many times. He's not the type to, you know, be too discouraged over a loss. Yeah, I think with all those things in mind, even fatigued, he's going to just sort of trust himself mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, let his instincts take over. Right. That wow. was a scary punish. Great came in timing. Yeah, came in right after the up smash. Yeah. That was a nice Sopo stock from uh, Cool Line 2. No Randall just yet. Ooh, oh, he okay. might be there. No, a little. Oh, yeah, not quite enough delay. So, Cool Lime starting strong again, but yeah, Vist did. Ooh, in the wobble. Yeah, so this is looking like Cool Lime's game. Yeah. You know, he started mashing pretty early, too, it looked like. You could actually, like, physically see him. Mm -hmm. So, unfortunate for Vist. Cool Lime starting off strong. Oh, wow. Okay, the the first dropped wobble we've seen from Cool Lime, but. <laughs> Everyone in the crowd was super surprised by it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the last set, uh, it was pretty convincing game one from Cool Lime. Mm -hmm. This just counterpicks Yoshi's again, and he comes out on top, and then, right, you know, right. we saw the rest of it. So. Yeah, yeah, so it's certainly not going to be over by any stretch, but... Yeah, not out of the realm of possibility at all. Yeah. Cool Lime definitely looking poised to take game one, at least. It's a doable comeback, though. Yeah, I mean, especially at this point, uh, we've seen how just how quickly if Vist gets a big opening, how fast he can take advantage. Mm -hmm. um, especially in terms of getting a big opening, putting a little damage on Popo, but really KOing that Nana is where he's uh, shined. Mm -hmm. For sure. Just a couple chops, all it takes. <laughs> all right. A 
Caught him jumping with the back air. Not quite enough, but wow. What an edge guard. Yeah, that actually is like, it looks like Luigi's still in decent position to recover, but imagine, he can't up B. He right. has to side B eventually. If you do it too low, the ICs just grab the edge, so he does mm -hmm. it right away to test him. At least they have to throw out a move. Yeah, yeah. And it's just, he does throw out a move, and that's the end. Mm -hmm. Nicely done from Cool Lime. Bouncing back from that set one loss to take the early lead in set two here at Grand Finals of the Xanadu Championship Series Season 1. And Viz does, in fact, go back to Yoshi's again. It worked out for him in the first set, but maybe not this time. Ooh, okay, mash lucky out. for Viz, yeah. Looks like he's a little late with the mash, too, but it was just almost felt like Cool Line didn't expect himself Oof. to get that grab. Yeah, miscue there from Vist, and now... Momentum definitely swinging back in Cool Lime's favor here that Vist had established by winning set one. One stock gone from Vist, and an important one. Yeah. I feel like going down 2-0 is just, I mean, obviously it's not good, but in mm -hmm. this type of matchup in particular, I feel like it's that much proportionally worse. Right, right. Oh, and okay. Good match from Vist there. Er, Fish. Vist. <laughs> it's late. Let's go, Vish. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Vish. Okay. Not getting that second tech. And wow. Great job by Cool Lime. Cool Lime appears to be really turning up the heat, even though he's an ice climber. <laughs> turning down the heat, maybe. <laughs> no, for sure. He's uh, come out really strong this game. Two stocks he's just poised to take. Um, he sort of induces this to give them to him, and right. you know, he just literally grabs them. Yep, yep. And now, again, more extra credit. We've definitely seen Cool Lime get a lot more off his SOPO stocks, I think, than we saw from Frostbite or um, Icy Mojo. Icy Mojo. Yeah. In this case, uh, Vista 35%, and I think if you're going to start making a comeback in this game or wow. this set, it's a round now. He yeah. is getting edge guarded. But it's this point. Uh-oh. And get up to wobble. This could be a 2-0 in Cool Line's favor. And at that point, you got to expect that Vis will try a different counter pick. Can't see him going back to the <laughs> again. I mean, I, I would respect it sticking to your guns, but it might be a wrap if he does decide to do that. What are you going to start, like Battlefield or something? Battlefield, maybe even Dreamland, honestly. Maybe. Man. <laughs> I like Battlefield better. I like Battlefield. Yeah, better. Battlefield's probably the move. Yeah, Dreamland's not bad either. Yeah. How Nana gets the cloud and gets back. Mm -hmm. the, too the cloud has saved Nana a few times today, actually. Yeah. A lot of times it ends up getting her KO'd because she just sort of like magnets to it. She always right. like, she likes the lowest platform. Yeah, yeah. And, and a lot she of the like just kind of misses it after she lands on it and then like messes up the recovery from there or whatever. Yeah, or sometimes she just takes too long and it gives the opponent enough time to finish. Yeah. Quick kill on Nana and this is suddenly a very doable comeback. Last stock as a matter of fact. Yeah. Just really fighting for this one. Yeah. Okay, he got oh. right up again. I was worried when he got right up it would lead to another wobble. Mm -hmm. Down smash not getting punished by uh -oh. Cool Lime. Okay. Yeah, I thought that might be one of those situations yeah, where Nana we talking about. Yeah. lets herself go. Okay, and Nana might be dead, and she is. That's huge for Vist. But it's Vist. We, we got you. It's very close. <laughs> Vist, um, at this high of a percent, actually a single move could still KO Vist. Yeah, absolutely. This is still a very, very doable win for Cool Line. Yeah, anybody's game. Yeah. And, oh, man. They're both, they're both alive. Barely. Okay, and who's going to take it? Next big hit. We'll do it. Okay, oh, both forward tilt. Yes, both of them zoning aerials. Vist pulls the trigger first. Wow, what a comeback from Vist. Down 1-0 in the set and down three stocks to one. Three stocks, 0% by yeah, the way, wow. which is a very important. That's almost a four stock to one comeback in order to keep himself, give himself a fighting chance to actually take first place. That's actually incredible yeah. that he was able to pull that off. Really nice from Vist, and the momentum again back in his favor. So many mom momentum swings throughout this grand final so far. Yeah, and you know uh, that last moment, they were both kind of throwing out those aerials. Like, I hope this guy wave dashes towards me. And then Vist like threw it all, 
was still aware enough to know, like, he's probably just going to do it again. Yeah. Waits, already wave dashing towards him for the forward tilt, and that's what ends up leading him to the stock. So, like, Absolutely. still composed at this point in the tournament, this late at night, this many matches against Dicey's that go to game five. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, I mean, for sure. better him than me. <laughs> <laughs> um, that being said, though, some more good SOPO work from Cool Lime here. Getting a little bit of extra credit. 79%, not bad at all. That said, Vist is in the lead, and uh, this being the rubber match, being in the lead in this game, it feels like you're ahead in the set, too. Right. I mean, I guess you kind of are. Yeah, in a sense. Oh. oh, and lucky for Vist there, Nana was not in position in time. Yeah, she got a little caught up somewhere in the transformation, I think. Yeah. Yes, two ice blocks beats one fireball. <laughs> two greater than one. And there's no way, this knows there's no way with uh, Luigi's aerial mobility, he is at all going to be able to contest on this transformation. It looks like for a moment he thought about like jumping up there and trying to do two wave lands, but it's just not happening. Yeah, and like, I think Viss has definitely learned his lesson about not waiting out the transformation now. Yeah, he went down there that one time and totally turned things around. <clears throat> all right. Viss is taking his sweet time here, but probably did not mean to do the regular get up. Very slow, very punishable, and Cool Lime definitely going to do it every time. All right. Wow, two, like, usually when Luigi's using a double jump, like, that's, like, super bad. He just got back to the ground fine. Yeah. Fortunate for Vist. Okay. Wow, slides in over the platform. Yeah, this is huge. Gets the mana kill immediately. He's just giving himself a big lead. Yeah. One smart play. Yeah. Nicely done from Vist and trying to take this stock as well and does so. Here's the trouble with the, this stage that, I mean, it just became more obvious. But thinking back, we've seen it a few times. Cool Lime, who ends up working himself in the corner sometimes because of his like rather patient play style. Mm -hmm. Like on this stage, the, the stadium platform's in that position where if you work yourself to the corner, Luigi has that launch pad mix up like yeah. almost every time while you're there. He just yeah. used it there and it was the most obvious. But I feel like that threat's been there the whole time. It's really making a difference. Absolutely. And I guess that's the advantage that maybe like an FD would have over the stage. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean when I was talking about before. I just feel like even if you love this stage as Ice Climbers, you just got to the, the character matchup and the stage dependency is just, it's too much of an advantage to give up. Yeah, because Luigi does not have aerial approach options unless yeah. there's a platform right above him. Right, right. He right. actually can't even like jump sideways to a platform to get an aerial approach. He has to be under it. It's yeah, the yeah, only yeah. way. Exactly. So we'll see if this goes as it's going right now and Cool Lime does lose. Maybe he last second considers the FD pick, but I mean, he didn't do it in set one, so I wouldn't be surprised to see Stadium again. Wouldn't be surprised either. But yeah, it's definitely given Vist a lot more approach options than he would have otherwise. And at this point, like we saw Vist have a three stock to one comeback. I wouldn't be that surprised if uh, Cool Lime was able to put one together too, especially with a character like this one. Right, and that'll help. That's stock one. Yep, not great DI from Vist. That's what's crazy. It's a three stock to one game, and at 0%, one grab could tie it up. Yeah. That's ridiculous. He's Pretty nuts. Uh, he's, this character's not bad. I don't know. <laughs> people say that. Okay. Oh. Viz definitely wanted a little bit more of a wave land there and get a little bit more distance off of it. Okay. Oh, wow. So smart to get that pummel on Nana and also push Popo away at the same time. Oh, and he tries to get the Shoryuken. Not quite. And That probably would have been a Nana kill. Oh, man. So that's big. Okay. Another misfire. Yeah, helps him out, but... This edgeguard still continues, and there it is. So wait a second. No we jump. might see the second straight three-stock comeback, but this time in the other direction. We have a fire transformation. Oh, it's a wobble. There it is. There is a transformation the, on the stage. The, is it going to help? He'll get in the oh, tree. Oh, right in the tree. Perfect positioning for Cool Lime. But he misses the he kinda, KO. So I feel like he really felt like he needed the up smash, and mm -hmm. maybe he was in an uncomfortable position to do it. I don't know. Yeah, but but kind of the slanted like ground on the tree there it might might have prevented him from actually being is able it, to hit that. Is it that? Yeah, so if you do the down throw and there's a slant, do they go slightly higher because of the slant? They probably do. Yeah, that would make sense. So yeah. maybe that's why it didn't connect, because I mean, right. I'm sure Cool Lime would hit that on flat ground. I bet mm. Cool Lime hits that follow-up right yeah, there. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised he even opted to do that instead of trying to wobble more and wait out the transformation, maybe. 
it wouldn't have worked because that transformation took a while, but... I mean, why not have your opponent at 300-something? Oh, man, this is huge right now. Who's going to take this 2-1 to one advantage in this set? Anyone's game? The grab. Oh, man. Brave. Brave grab. Not able to finish Nana. Oh, Nana man. runs Nana's away. still living. Yeah, that's huge. Oh, there she goes. And the downer. Vist. Vist. Pulling it off. Yeah, mini pop-off from Vist. He knows how big that game was. That was huge. After making his own comeback, prevents Cool Lime from making his. Yep, yep. Look. Wow. And you almost never see that in a set where the opposite player makes a, a huge comeback like that two games yeah. in a row. We almost saw it here, but Vist buckling down. And I think, honestly, Cool Lime, obviously a much newer player than Vist. I think... The fact that Vist is such a veteran and has played in so many tournaments, I think that might have helped him in that that moment at the end. That high yeah. pressure situation, keep his composure a little bit. Also, Vist uh, starts off differently than he has any game so far today. He like kind of slides down and gets an immediate grab, mm -hmm. and then he just puts the ICs on the back foot. And look, Nana's gone. He's taken some damage because they were trading back and forth a little bit. Right. But this is still an incredible situation for him. Yeah, going very well. If this keeps this keeps up, like all the way from losers. Yeah. The Boston Ooh. Winners Finals to the same player mm -hmm. and has not Ooh. yeah, has not lost a set since obviously. Uh, it's been a long road for him. Yeah, uh, with two game fives involved as well. Yeah, yeah. So definitely no easy feat. Two I hear three. <laughs> <laughs> Could be if Cool M's got anything to say about it. Yeah. But obviously Vis wants to just put a put a nice little ribbon on this right now. Take home this win at the first Sanadu Championship series. Yes, so long leading up to this event. Many, many tournaments. 13 tournaments total, including 12 weeklies and a monthly. Yep, that's three months of events all culminating in this grand finals right here. And this could be taking the crown home. Yeah, this set means more than this one tournament. Right. It means more than just like one qualify, like the whole bracket. Yeah, this is for this whole season yep. of Xanadu events. This is a quarter of the year. Come yeah. out on champion for the summer. Pretty crazy. And Vist in good position to do so, but Cool Lime definitely has shown that he's capable. I mean, that last game, he showed that he's very capable of fighting from behind. Yes, for sure. Part of fighting from behind is Ice Climbers uh, going for high reward tactics that don't necessarily risk losing mana right away. And yeah. He did very well at that. Yep, yep. Oh, and very fortunate for Vist. Nana was just a little bit too far to grab edge. He was definitely in no position to do another follow-up there. So yeah. worked out great for him. And that might be the stock. Not down. quite. Pisces do have a pretty hard time getting down. Yeah. I mean, that much is apparent from watching this stock. That's, I think, the second time he missed that down air edge guard, but it's been really reliable for him. Yeah. So good going back to that tool. Absolutely. And yeah, okay. Um, if you know if this finds this kill on Nana soon, then he is in amazing shape to win this event right now. Yep, it looks like he wants to continue using these platforms, and Cool Lime is playing in a way that's just a little too far for him to like fling himself off a platform. Mm -hmm. Okay, not gonna be able to get a wobble yet. Next grab would do it though. Ooh. And this just going in with no fear. Oh, there it is. And water transformation, I think they're square on the platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice for cool lime. I feel like every time someone gets a wobble, it's on a it's transformation. Yeah. <laughs> it's happened like a bunch of times today. Yeah, that's true. Only would have been broken up once, and he got the KO anyway, if I remember right. I think it was Frostbite. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it looks like Oof. Vist is about to put Cool Lime on perhaps his last stock of the championship series. Yeah. Cool, oh, I'm man. showing up almost every week. Oh, but, and again, on a transformation, but again, the platform. <gasps> and this time it does save him. We've been talking about it all day. He oh, finally man. gets out. The first time, and what? Fortune is on this side right now. What a bad, I haven't seen Fortune in a while. What a bad bounce. <laughs> oh, man. Holy holy. Okay, still ends up getting the stock? No, not quite. Not yet, but he's in good position to do so. Oh, but gets hit by the pink missile. Things have not been going Cool Lime's way. He not has at all. not been able to close it out twice. This one should be pretty easy. Yes. yes. There it finally is. Still, Cool Lime's last opportunity. Can Vist close it out now? Will he be the Xanadu champion for the summertime? Yeah. Oh. And if he gets this kill on Nana, he's in an amazing position. Not able to connect that chop. Yeah. 
surprised Vista didn't go a little harder for that kill on Nana. Yeah, it feels so big right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, chipping away is Kluwine. He gets the up air, not trying to give up any extra stage. He's yeah. leaving just a little bit of empty room in case Vist tries to get a little antsy, get in there. Mm -hmm. Nice and pull off the top plat. A couple of them. Oh, that felt like it might have been a grab. It wasn't, though. And, oh, man. Okay, and this time, can he do it? Yeah, it's a big back throw. Able to save Nana and onto the windmill. Yeah. Very crafty. Very cool. Yeah, it works out amazing for full lime. Nana fighting back. Yeah. The level uh -oh. four Nana at this and point. And there is the kill on Nana that Vist has been searching for. However, he does have 42 already. This is super doable for cool lime, although it's going to be hard. And, I mean, edge guarding has been this MO. He's going to be... No, he gets the windmill, though. Yeah, the windmill is really helping him out on this last stock. Okay, fine. I mean, there were a lot of bad bounces for Cool Lime, so he kind of deserves a little bit of help from the stage, yeah, I, I think. To be fair. That one wobble Ooh, breakup was okay. huge. Gets it back here. Okay, the get up attack from Vist helps a lot. He does not want to get hit by that downer. That downer does spell oh, the end of the tournament. Oh, and hate to see it end like that, but congratulations to Vist, the champion of the very first season of the Xanax.